you all right guys welcome back to a new edit so i'm preparing my bike ready for snowdonia so if you watched my previous edit with my dad when we went to brands hatch and back i was talking about our next ride is going to be snowdonia so i'm just doing my final checks on my specialized now what i will have to say is on my last edit with my dad i was raving about how brilliant this bike is and i and I stand by that. Apart from I must have jinxed myself because after the, I think me, me and my dad, we done 35 miles to Brands Atch and Back. And I wanted to get out of my bike two days later and it was completely dead. It wouldn't turn on or anything. So I got in contact with a bike dealership because it's under warranty. So when you buy uh, specialized bikes, I got my one uh, a year ago so in 2022 and it comes with two years manufacturer's warranty so i got in contact with my local specialized dealer and they were happy to take it in anyway long story short they done the work what was the tcu what's the brains of the bike and a full wiring loom um that's what they diagnosed it was um and unfortunately i got it back home it started up at the shop i rode it to my van all seemed like it was fixed no problem no drama and then i went to go out on it i think it was two days after and exactly the same thing so got in contact with specialized uk spoke to a guy called stefan and then he said tom your best bet is going to see mr turbo that was that was uh chris from berkshire cycles near swinley forest that's the first time i've ever seen chris been to berkshire cycles and i cannot thank them guys enough um, i will be using them as my local bike shop now even though it's about an hour and a half journey from my house but the service i got from them i literally walked in there spoke to the mechanic i forgot his name but thank you very much if you ever see this uh, edit um, and Chris was super knowledgeable, he knows his stuff. Had a nice talk with Chris, but within 10 minutes, the bike was done and it turned out to be a faulty battery in the end. So they replaced it, the battery under warranty for me. Within 10 minutes, it was all done. I stayed at the shop a little bit longer just to talk to the guys and just, yeah, you, you're always learning. So just get a bit of knowledge from him. So um, the bike is perfect. I've done over 1200 miles now. I have been out on my bike because I actually bumped in to some of my subscribers up Bluebell Hill. I was out with my mate Jamie and uh, quite recently I've been bumping into a lot of you guys or my subscribers um, and I was talking about oh, I am going to get back up Bluebell Hill because I've got to say a big thank you. I believe it's Muff, don't quote me on that, I think it's Muff who actually goes up Bluebell Hill and sorts all the trails out for us. The fact scene now is all running nice. So I will take my GoPro and I will get up there and do an edit. So thank you, Muff, for sorting out the trails. Thank you, Chris, from Berkshire Cycle, guys. Berkshire Cycle's near Swinley Forest. And Swinley Forest is awesome. I have done an edit with my mate, Jamie. So feel free to go and check that out. But doing my final checks, ready for Snowdonia. And I have fitted what I said in my last edit that I wanted to do is now I have a full wireless bike. So I've got my SRAM GX uh, group set now. So the bike's fully wireless and I recently added uh, some titanium bolts on my bike. You know, you know as you do, just to make it your own a little bit. So um, yeah, really looking forward to this one guys and my dad. So right, enough with the chit chat. Let's get to Wales and let's go and ride some big mountains. <laughs> yeah, you alright guys? Well, we made it to Wales and we'll be heading up there very soon. Nice drive up, absolutely beautiful. So let's get up there.
thank you. Right guys, well me and my dad are just getting lost. We've, we've come out for a second ride now. And like I said earlier guys, uh, this morning when we done Snowdonia, I actually made it up to I think where the opening of the railway bridge is or the train, if you've ever been Snowden. And it was like 40, 45 mile per hour winds. And I looked at my dad who was struggling a bit, obviously a bit older than myself. And there was no way I was going any further with my dad. So. We called it a day, and now we are literally just getting lost. Adventure riding. So yeah, it was definitely a sensible decision. Um, like my dad, he was a little bit um, gutted and uh, a bit upset for me because he knows I would have carried on to the top, but I never leave a man behind, especially my dad. So uh, no, we played it safe. We uh, he accomplished a massive feat, and uh, well, we saved some energy to uh, come out this evening and uh, just go and get lost. So uh, he's down at the bottom of this uh, hill. So let's go and find him. Tell, tell, the, tell everyone what I'm getting you involved with here. I know. Look at me. Where am I? Wow! Look at that! You can't beat an adventure ride. It's brilliant. Wow. It started off a bit, didn't it? I'm playing, but this is really made up for it now. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was the lowest. Isn't it? That's it. Yeah. Well, and then I'll follow you for a bit. The lights are shining. Mm. Yeah, love it. You right, guys? Well, as you can see, home, safe and sound, dropped my dad off, got back home, cleaned the bike up, my wife and Evie, my daughter's out at the minute. Uh, so it gave me a bit of time to sort of unwind and uh, yeah, clean everything up, but the weekend was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Dad, when you watch this, you've done amazing. Because my dad, he kind of, um, uh, he beat himself up a little bit. We done Snowden in the morning, Saturday morning, and we made it to the halfway point, what's like this little stop off where everyone was having a drink. 
and we we got up to where there's if anyone's ever been snowed and there's like a little tunnel up the top basically we made it three quarters of the way up and as we got to the top obviously it gets windier and windier and there was a uh, mountain cover but you had to go over this crossing and i made it halfway across and it really started to pick up i mean it was 40 to 40 mile per hour winds and at that point i knew my dad was tired and he did say his heart was racing quite a bit and there was no way i was having my dad. i know it was only a quarter of the way um but there was no way i was having my dad basically go over this opening he had no mountain cover and i mean i was literally looking at hikers literally laying on the ground holding on to rocks um so we're carrying our e-bikes up there uh so the start of the snowdon was super e-bike friendly and my dad done amazing over all the rocks what you've already seen if you watch this edit um, but as you get further up, that's where you need to kind of push your bikes up a little bit. Not all of it, but most of it as you're getting higher. Um, and I knew at that point my dad was tired and um, the wind was crazy. Um, but he he beat himself up a little bit because he knew I would have carried on. But there was no way I was leaving my dad on that man in. So we come back down. I'd never leave a man behind. So we come back down. But the, the highlight for me was we come back down. Went back to our travel lodge, uh, travel lodge where we were staying, chilled out, let my dad sort of have some lunch and rebuild his energy. And we went out in the afternoon. I was searching the, for, in the area just to find anything on Google Maps. Come across this. I can't remember what the name of it was now. I'm sure I've put it in this edit. And we went on this epic bike ride. And there was mountains either side with natural waterfalls, sheep everywhere. And it was like something out of Lord of the Rings, the landscape. And it just went on and on and on. And for me, that was the highlight. And then riding back as it was getting dark, putting our lights on. That for me was the highlight. But the weekend was to spend good quality time with my dad, what I've done. So mission accomplished. Dad, do not beat yourself up. You've done amazing. Super proud of you, mate. And I love you. So, um cannot wait to get back up there now really cannot wait to get back up there and do it all again and i want to go back to that little gem i found with the mountains either side and just see how far i can take it so um the bike's done amazing uh, never missed a beat and yeah just really enjoyed the weekend so uh yeah thanks thanks for watching guys whoever's watched this and um the next edit i'll do i'll pop into bluebell hill and i'll do an edit up there thanks again whoever makes the trails in bluebell hill because you've done amazing of late the last time i went up there faxing you couldn't ride it now nah, it's awesome with doubles and jumps and i'll get up there and do an edit so um yeah in the meantime you lot keep well and i'll uh, catch up with you soon